Okay, uh, Seattle Seahawks draft 2022 is, uh, shoot. Well, thanks for coming out to this pre-draft uh, press conference. It's great to see everybody in person. It's going to be different. We haven't experienced since since the first year we were here. We had uh, you know the two first round draft picks. So there's a lot of um, planning, a lot of uh, you know thoughts that go through your head, a lot of different scenarios. Okay, soccer football. This guy's instinctive as shit. He's a good tackler. Saying I'm a big fan of this guy anyway, right? What don't we like about this guy? It's exciting for us to have somebody like Hutch, the Hall of Famer now and everything, to be able to sit there and talk about, you know, a player and compare him to, you know, all the different offensive linemen. Most of the conversation was really around these blocker guys here. Yeah. I think that's probably how that'll fall. He goes to the schools, he's involved in the All-Star Games with us. He goes to the combine, and then uh, you know he comes in to our meetings. I do like the kid, and you know, talking to Tobek. I mean, he's a local kid. His dream is probably since he was a little kid to play for the Seahawks. Thank you, guys. That was awesome. If there's any gaps going like that, like ah, this is just you're just depth from here down. Can we do that? Day to day, draft day, draft day for uh, it, it's, it's always a huge thing for guys like us and, and uh, for coaches and for players. And everybody's kind of got their own story about draft day. And uh, you, you, you can all remember where you were and what you did. It's one of those moments that you'll never forget. Now that you're here, <laughs> oh. you get your official draft shirt. This is for this is for Saturday when we go to work. Okay. That's for us now through the free agency one. The previous two drafts, she had been on Zoom, and I think she had, had got a good feel for you know all the people in the room and how quickly things can you know you can focus on one guy or focus on a specific trade, and all of a sudden that that player and or that trade can disappear in a heartbeat. I'm not She's a real competitor, and so that mentality shows up. She she knows what's coming up. She sees the board. She's hearing all the, the scuttle about what's going on, you know. And the energy that she brought was really obvious. Yeah, I'm ready. Hello. Hey, is this Charles? Yes, sir. Charles, John Schneider with the Seattle Seahawks, buddy. How you doing? Oh, great. How about you? Good, man. We're getting ready to select you right here, okay? Yes, sir. All right. You ready to come on up to Seattle and kick some ass? Yes, sir. With the ninth pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Seattle Seahawks select Charles Cross, tackle Mississippi State. All right, my name is Charles Cross. I'm from Law, Mississippi, and I'm now a Seattle Seahawks. I'm the realest. I'm the dope. Okay, we'll do club media first. I'm here with Charles. Go ahead. Congratulations, sir. We were just wondering, are you talking backstage and, and what the whole scene was there when you got selected? Oh, uh, I was very excited. Uh, first thing I did was uh. My mom and dad, the big hug. It just, it's a real feeling. Um, it's a blessing. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited I'm going to Seattle. I saw anywhere? Yeah, anywhere. Nice and fit. What was it like growing up in Mississippi? Uh, I say it's definitely different because uh, I grew up in a small town. It was probably like 20,000 people in my hometown. 
Pelapel. Uh, it's a it's a Black Mamba. That was my favorite basketball player. Just his mentality and the way he approached the game. That's the way I try to approach uh, football. Seattle, here we come. Here we come. Here we come. It's been very exciting, um, emotional, um, happy. Uh, I say those probably the two, like, two main feelings I've been feeling. Uh, me and my mom, we very close. I feel like I talk to her about anything. She she helped me stay motivated. Uh, my family is a big motivation to me. Congratulations. So I feel like just having them, <laughs> talking to them, just always remind me like why I started doing this, why I do do it. Uh, so it's just a big motivation to me. Really excited to be the fans. Just excited. What you want to see Good. Hey, nice to meet you, man. Appreciate you, go house. Yeah. Yeah. The first Seattle Air. First Seattle Air. <laughs> Just taking it all in. It's a beautiful place. And you mentioned one of the interviews that you have a friend on the team. Who is that? Uh, one of my former teammates, but now my, now my teammate, uh, Greg Allen. We went to Mississippi State together. Uh oh. Come on, bring him in the arm. Yo, three, three. Three, two, eight. Blue is red. Ah! Come on, my boy. Glad to see you, bro. Yo, I know you like this. I know you like this. <laughs> you can buy me one now. Hey, I think you better come up here and take my spot, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting that shit. We boys, but come on with it. Hey, I'm going to catch you. I'm going to let you take care of your business first. <laughs> just just knowing him, um, talking to him, having a good relationship with him, uh, really made me feel really great about coming, about being in Seattle. Congratulations, bro. Welcome to the squad, man. I'm looking forward to getting to work with you, bro. Sure. Sure. Check it out. Enjoy, man. Uh, I got to see you too. All right. That's cool. That's cool. I got to take a picture of you. Let me get it. <laughs> I feel a bit. Rare. Good man. Congratulations, bro. How you doing, man? How you feeling, man? I know you got a fit for the day, too. Look at you, man. You setting it out right. What do you know about Walt and what have people told you about him? He's one of the best uh, offensive tackles in the game that has, that has played for the Seattle Seahawks. Um, I actually talked to him earlier, uh, just trying to pick his mind, pick his brain, uh, and just learn from him. Games begin. Yes, <laughs> Here, John and Pete, and they've got Charles Cross with them, and they're they're doing the interviews and all the rest, and it's great. And the minute they finish, those guys are back upstairs. It's where now the GMs and their staffs they start to earn their pay. Remember, if we don't if we don't move, we have uh, 14 minutes to make a trade, not the seven. Well, we had prepared for it that morning. We went through different scenarios. We called uh, the, the, the league several times to make sure we were all on the same page, that we had the 14 minutes to make the two picks. We wanted to make sure everybody was on the same page. Once we got to that spot, uh, we picked at 40 and 41. And so at that point, we were all just very much at peace about saying, hey, let's just pick here. All right. For me, it was, uh, it was very interesting, it was a little different. Uh, they called me and then it went to a missed call. So then I was thought I'd missed, I actually missed the call and everyone's like, what are you doing? And I was like, uh, uh, uh. Then they called me back. Hello? Hey, is this Boye? Hey. Yeah, this is Boye. Boye, John Schneider with the Seattle Seahawks, buddy. How you doing? I'm good. How are you doing yourself? Good, good. You want to come back out to Seattle, man? You had a great visit here. Yeah, it was a great visit. I'd love to come back out there. Well, let's go, buddy. We're going to select you right here, okay? They got me on the phone. I, I, I really, like you said, I blacked out. And <laughs> I was probably talking, but I don't know what I said. <laughs> We're going to Seattle. <laughs> We had a little panic moment in there, but we had the two picks. 
back to back with Boye and, and uh, Ken Walker. We could, he didn't want to pick up. We thought he was taking a nap or something. And so got a little hectic. Sorry, I can't talk right now. These are messages. Oh my God, what's now? Kirk, will you try his backup number, his family? He's on the phone. It's right Sorry, I can't talk right now. These are messages. I'll keep trying. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Leave a message. Oh, keep trying to sell. His phone's off because it's just going right to voicemail. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Leave a message. No. Off the phone. Send him a text. Tell him to pick up his phone. <laughs> That'd be great. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Leave a message. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Leave a message. Please record your message when you are done. Hello? Hello? Kenneth. Yep. Hey, it's John Schneider with the Seahawks. What's up? How you doing, buddy? I'm good. How about you? Good, man. Hey, I love watching you run the rock, bud. Can't wait to watch you run it up here in Seattle, okay? Yes, sir. I appreciate you. We're going to select you right here, man. Get fired up, brother. Let's go. For sure. No, I'm good. Appreciate you. <laughs> all right, man. I'm glad you picked up your phone. Shoot. Here's Coach Carroll, yes, all right? Yes, sir. All right. What's up, Coach? When that call finally comes, you know, it's finally real, and, and uh, it's really rewarding, and it's fun to be part of that. I wish there was more to it, but there's always so much, you know, screaming in the background on both ends. You know, that it's hard to communicate a whole lot. But it's basically just making that first really memorable connection. There you go. Oh, you like it? Congratulations to you. I got a running back coach next to me that's fired up out of his mind right now. So Chad Morton wants to hold on one second. All right, bet. Let's go! Did he beat? Let's go! What's yes, up? sir. Congratulations. What's up? Yeah. I appreciate you, Coach. Yes, sir, man. You had awesome energy. It was great talking to you. Obviously, you're a hell of a player. Better first man, so so far, that's happening here. And uh, just thank you for your brother. It's work. Yes, sir. I'm ready. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, when you go spend the rest of the day with your family, go enjoy it. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. We'll see you get out here and then just enjoy this time, man. Yes, sir. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Talk to you later, brother. All right. All right, Coach. I'll see you. It's, it's remarkable what that call means to a young man who has worked truly his whole life to get to that point. And everybody reacts a little differently. But for me, it's the guys who were at home, surrounded by family, uh, in some cases maybe waiting a little longer than they had anticipated waiting. Then sometimes you get the shock of, this has really happened. I, I, I'm a pro football player now. Having the 13th draft now, we've drafted, you know, 117 guys where we've picked up the phone and, and called people, and, uh, you know, it's emotional for, for everybody. Hello? Hey, Bo. How this, you doing? Is this Bo? Yes, sir. Hey, it's John Schneider with the Seahawks. How you doing, bud? Good. How you doing? Good, man. It's not where you start. It's where you finish, buddy. Let's go. You're going to be a Seahawk right here. We're picking you, okay? Thank you. Oh, man, you got it, buddy. Let's go. Here's Coach Kerry. Hey, guys. Here's Coach Carroll, okay? Here you go. To call somebody and tell them that they have the opportunity of a lifetime is pretty amazing. And then like to hand the phone over to Pete Carroll, or they're at their house probably being like, oh, you know, thinking like, oh, I'm going to talk to Coach Carroll. This is awesome. Come to a great place. 
you come to a great uh, a great spot for you to join in and, and add this to this position group. You got some terrific guys to play with. It's going to be freaking awesome. So congrats, man. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Hey, I got some guys who want to talk to you. You just you just keep enjoying it. They'll they'll talk at you a little bit here. We did not talk a whole lot with Bo. He, he just he was just kind of listening and and uh, really he was emoting and and uh, the people around him were really having fun with it too. So it was a great moment. This draft, I think, when you look at it from top to bottom, A, you filled a lot of spots that you absolutely needed to fill. You needed to get younger and more explosive and more dynamic. Half of these guys were team captains. That's really important. They're leaders on their college football teams. And that means they'll be leaders here, too. Those are the kind of guys you want. I think John and his staff and the personnel guys just did a remarkable job, and as John said, Everything just sort of fell their way, and they got exactly the guys that they were looking for. Right after the draft is always this period where you don't necessarily know what to do with your hands anymore. You know, you're kind of like, what just happened? We always have a ton of other things going on, whether it's, you know, free agency or administrative stuff. But uh, you know, your primary focus for so many months is, is on the draft. And, and then once it's over, there's kind of this like, you know, okay, well, like, what's next? The exciting thing now is for these players, after three days of draft and all the ballyhoo that goes with that, the big thing they have to start thinking about is, I gotta get ready for a mini camp. Happy to be in Seattle, man. Uh oh. Thank you. We have a lot of football to introduce to them. We're going to introduce to them how we look at the world and how we operate as a Seahawk and, and how we represent the 12s and you know what it's like. And, and meanwhile, we're watching them intently to see what they're going to tell us. And so what we remind them of is everything counts. I'll show you. That's the first rule, control the controllables. You know what I'm saying? Second rule. Control the controllables. Key word, we'll man. put a couch in here and then you can just teach y'all how to do this, man. We're going to have to make a helmet right now. Is this oh, look familiar? What the heck? How do y'all get that so quick? I just guessed. Mm -hmm. oh. No, we got your time. Get it to them, man. Let's have fun. Oh, you hear me, huh? Oh, I know you hear me. Oh, okay. It's working. I see. Hi. I'm excited to get out there. I just want to see what. You know, see what I'm doing, get in that, that mindset, get that coaching, and really get, you know, learn how to create the best version of myself. Hey, man, let's lock in right now, man. Hey. Let's get right, man. Come on. Hey, let's go, let's go. For me right now is the possibility of what could be, and, you know, just wanting to see what it can be and see how far we can take it and the growth I can see in myself. So I just can't, I just like seeing the growth and, you know, day in and day out it takes work. So, you know, taking the small days to make bigger days, so just letting those days stack up on top of each other. Just tell them, you know what I'm saying? Rome wasn't built in one day. <laughs> we working for something, man, we stacking bricks. They now have a sense, the coaches do. They, we've seen you on film, we've seen you at your pro days, we've seen you at the combine, but now we want to get you in the room with all of your like-minded young people and our coaches and our system and start telling you, here is what Seahawks football is all about. Hits right there. Anything that's caught inside, you're gonna tackle on your right shoulder. Right. That, that way, you'll keep, keep yourself. In, you'll keep yourself in pin so we can make a two-man tackle there, right? Yes, sir. Don't get over the top. 
everything is important in the end. So everything they do, what they say, how they operate, how they function, how they treat people, uh, how they respond, how they come back you know, from the coaching and all that, we're, we're on it. And uh, so this whole weekend is just packed with a bunch of great stuff for, uh, for the future. Here it's all about working hard, competing, but doing it with a smile. We can enjoy each other's company, laugh, joke, you know, hoop and holler, but at the same time we're gonna get work in, we're gonna work hard, and that type of stuff is like, that's what I like. That's what I like to see in my like teams that I wanna play with. Look how far we've come already. We're gonna be playing football by the end of this weekend. Let's go break it down. Ready up. Yes, sir. Hey, Seahawks on three, Seahawks on three. One, two, three, Seahawks. Hey, if you walking, you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, look at you smiling! Hey, get that on camera, he's smiling! Get it on camera, he's smiling! <laughs> <laughs> of course! Still show too much teeth. Clint Hurt, this is gonna be very interesting. <laughs>